Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix 100% disk usage. A lot of you guys have been asking me to make this video, so I am here. In this video, I'm going to be sharing you guys a lot of tips, so make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. First things first is creating a restore point. This is really important because it's related to your system safety. Simply search for create a restore point. Once you are here, you have to look for your local disk C or your drive it says system. Simply click on create, name it disk. Something that you can remember it by. So in case of any emergency, if your PC does not boot up, you will always have an option to back everything up. Once it is done, you can simply click on close and close system properties. Now let's move to step number two, that is updating windows to the latest version. And for that, you have to go into the settings section of your windows and then go all the way down to the windows update. Here, you have to click on check for updates and make sure that if there are any updates possible for your windows. It would take just one or two minutes to do so. So make sure to check that your windows is always up to date. If there are any updates possible, it will automatically download and install it. And that will fix any kind of bugs that may be the cause of your problems. Right after that, you have to search for startup applications over here. And that is also very important. Once you are in your startup applications, you have to take a brief look at all of the applications that you have on your system now if you find any application that you do not want with your computers boot up or that, that you think will consume a lot of memory in the background i would highly recommend you guys to turn such applications off as it will save a lot of your disk and memory priority and it will keep your pc cool since the boot up also go back to the apps section over here and go to offline maps and right here you will find something called map updates click on it and make sure to turn this thing off which says update automatically when plugged in on wi-fi just keep it off and that will also reduce your disk usage in the background now the next step you have to press windows and r key together and then search for services.msc click on ok and this services window will pop right in front of you now what you're looking for over here is something called sysmain you have to press s and find sysmain on your pc sysmain is basically super fetch service provided by windows and its job is to fetch the applications that you use mostly and keep it automatically on in the background just in case if you open it up it will take less amount of time to open up but the thing is if you do not want applications to be running in the background you're gonna have to turn this thing off it can be a leading cause of your disk being utilized in the background by this service so if you see it is running you have to turn it off or you have to stop this service on your pc and also go into its properties and startup type set it to disabled and then click on apply and close it this will help you with a lot of problems in your pc but if it creates any problem on your pc you can turn this thing on back again without any issues also you have to find something called connected devices platform service and for that press c on your keyboard and then have a look over here so here it is connected device platform service you have to go to its properties and startup type set this thing to disabled once again uh, this is also one of the leading cause of your disk being utilized in the background. It has no impact on your connected devices however, so make sure to keep this thing off. You do not really need this if this is making an issue in your PC. Right after that, I would recommend you guys to go and open up your file explorer. Go to your local disk C and you will find all of your disks on your computer. Right click on your local disk C, go over to the properties section. Then you have to go to the tools section, click on optimize. And and this local disk C solid state, if it is an SSD, you probably won't have optimizations available for it. But if you have a hard disk, I would recommend you guys to optimize your local disk C. Also, if your scheduled optimization is set to on, click on change settings and turn this off and click on ok make sure that it is turned off most of the times your disk being utilized in the background can be because of the scheduled optimization so you do not want it you can come here manually and 
you can optimize them whenever you need it also in here i would recommend you guys to go and click on this check option to see if there are any errors in the hardware of your disk and in case there are any issues you can find that and fix that over here lastly this is a very important step it is the disk optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can go and get it from there once you open this up you will find in just two simple batch files first one will clean your temporary files on your pc so for that you have to right click and run this as administrator now once it opens up it will ask you to press any key you can press any key and you can see it will start deleting all of the unnecessary files that are not required on your pc that will just increase the load on your pc so it will clear that and right after that there is a pc optimizer dot bat don't worry it's not a virus you can right click and run this as administrator as well now this will ask you to press any key to continue you can see on the top it is a storage optimizer made by me once you press any key it will start creating a restore point and it will start making parameters you can see it will boost your network for better ping press another key and it will set your gpu's priority press another key and it will disable hibernate on your pc press another key and it will load in the best game settings and at last you will disable all of the unnecessary xbox services which increases the load on your pc and then you can press any key and that will turn it off now what you need to do is go over to your control panel and then search for power options then go over to the power option and make sure that you're using the ultimate performance power plan it will be automatically created once you run that file now once you set this thing your pc will draw more power and that will optimize the performance but in case you're using a laptop i would recommend you guys to use balanced at because you won't like the fan noise and overheating issues so for laptop users go with balanced and for pc users go with ultimate performance like me and to check if this has worked on your pc you can press ctrl shift and escape all together and that will open up your task manager then you're gonna have to go into the performance section and in here you will find all of the disks that are connected to your pc you can find all of my five disks are using less than one percent and that is how i keep my disks optimized on my pc and yep that is all with the disk optimization pack i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out